from Dana. What snack food do you guys have on the bus? <laughs> snack food. I, Lots we, of them. We do, and actually I try to uh, rein in the health as much as possible. And all three of us are kind of good about that. We like potato chips, though. We like kettle chips, the salt and pepper kettle chips, or cheddar sour cream are the best. Yeah. And then um, as far as health-wise, veggie trays. we love having veggie and fruit trays. And then coconut water, I drink a lot. And kombuchas, we all drink a lot. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like a fermented tea that you get at the health food store, and it's all fancy-smancy. But it really is super good, and it's like a good alternative to Coke, I guess. Seaweed cereal. Chips. We use Honey sea bunches of oats, Seaweed man. chips. And then I have this cereal that I love from Trader Joe's. It's kind of like a blueberry, like whole grains medley. We don't drink milk. We have almond milk that we like, and I, I love mixing gin and grapefruit juice. Oh my gosh, I love tart stuff. So if you want a good drink, gin and grapefruit juice, or Captain Morgan and grapefruit juice is also really She's like, good. Like wow, I didn't need to see everything. Oh, it's so good. I can go on. Obviously. You'd like to mo know more, Dana. <laughs> Who is your dream duet or quad in your case, singing partner? Stevie Nicks is a big one. Alison Emily Krause, Lou Harris, Allison Krauss, Emily Lou Harris. Um, Keith Urban would be Keith so Urban fun. would be awesome. Oh, so that's what oh, I was about oh, to say. oh, Vince Gill. Vince Gill would be Vince fun. would be awesome because he's a player okay. too. He can he can shred on the guitar. Vince Gill is pretty huge. Patty Griffin would be huge. <laughs> Valerie asks, if you could be any animal for a day, what would you be? Dog. Really. Dogs are awesome. How happy would you be if you were a dog for a day? Okay. We okay. all love dogs. I think I'd be a horse. Or no, a bird. Mine. Okay, I'd be an elephant. <laughs> a baby elephant. A baby elephant. Then she can fit in more spaces. Erin asks, when can we expect new music? Well, now. This year. We're, we are uh, releasing our new single. Um, you, we soon. just saw like the single cover for the first time, like the tangible thing. In, in the office next door in Greg's office, so um, that's exciting. It's called Too Good To Be True, that's a new single. We've been recording more and more songs and we'll have our full album out this year. And Jesse asks, who are your heroes or inspirations? Ooh, there's mm. lots of those. Yeah. Um, One a piece. Yeah, <laughs> one a piece? Oh, two a piece. Two a piece. I'd say Alison Krauss and Dolly Parton. Both of those are good. There's lots. That's for like, vocals and writing, but then there's musical. I know, there. it's totally hard. different, but. Um, my grandfather, and I guess I would say Patty Griffin. If I had to choose one, it's so hard. The Dixie Chicks, too. For me, I would say uh, Daryl Scott, songwriter, oh, singer. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe Jerry Douglas, Dobro player. Yeah. You pick good ones, too. Y'all yeah. are good at this. This is a That's fun it. game. We have to stop. <laughs> we Thank have to stop. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> nope. I have no more questions if there's anything else you guys want to say. But Thank I mean, you for your questions. And when yeah. we come back up here sometime, you need to come see us. That's right. Because we'll be playing and having fun. And we don't want you to miss it. Okay, bye.